Good morning. Um, so I've kind of fallen into the habit of doing these interactive type, uh, type events. So I'm Al McElman, Senior Leader of Software Engineering with CoreLogic. Main project is Trestle, but I'm involved in way, way too much. So the way this works, um, so you can scan this QR code and it will take you to the actual website. Uh, you can also go to minty.com and enter that long code if your camera's not working today. I'm just a little curious here, so this is not really a, a video game. Just curious, of how many gamers do we have in the crowd, like playing actual games? Okay, curious to see if any of you actually win. There's a little bit of gaming, gaming aspect to this, but we're taking it a little nice and slow today. So yeah, there's a little, uh, little like button and a little cat button down at the bottom. If you uh, start spamming that, I'll know when people are actually loaded up and ready to go. So in a lot of these presentations that I do, it's kind of fact-based or opinion-based. It's what I think, and if your answers align with mine, then you win points. This one, <laughs> this one it's a little more uh, grounded in, I guess, reality, in some form of reality. The RESO staff helped me kind of fact check some of this, so if it's wrong, it's totally their fault. So while people come in, so basically it'll come up, you'll have a question, about 30, 45 seconds to answer it, and uh, most points wins. Cool, I think we're ready to go. Um, so this was just a little bit more of a uh, informational poll, similar to wanting to know how many gamers in the crowd, just curious what, what your level of involvement with Riso is. Definitely not surprised to see people are a couple, at least one here for the free trip. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is our warm-up round. No real points for that, just curious to see where everyone's at. I'm actually very impressed to see that <laughs> about the same amount of people attend the work groups that are attending the conferences. Uh, hopefully, a little plug for the work groups, hopefully that's not uh, just attending the work groups at the conference. That, that counts for something, but you know, you'd go to the work groups uh, on the reg. All right, let's roll. That's 91 more people than I expected to be here this morning after uh, <laughs> the night of the distillery. So what year was Riso Incorporated? Doing all right with the Wi Fi, able to get on. All right. 2011. 14 people? Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. Ready up for the next. How many fields are in property, in the property resource for Data Dictionary 2.0? Closest number, this might change from day to day. Don't tell Josh I said that. Or Rob. <laughs> Closest number. Mm -hmm. 
653. That was a little tricky. It, it, it grows up with all the other resources. Uh, you know, there's so many fields and all the different resources, so the number feels higher in most cases. But yeah, right around 653. What is the least used field? over 1%. So there's some zeros and ones, but this is the, the least used field coming in over 1%. spamming the, uh, the kitties. Uh, I love it. Pool expense. Y'all did pretty good on that one. I thought I might be, well, distance, I did catch quite a few people with the distance to shopping comments, but those are close. But distance to shopping comments was surprisingly a little bit higher. This is totally, obviously not a real picture of the staff at Riso, however. <laughs> came came kind of close on some of these. I didn't base it on any one particular person, but yeah. Kind of came out all right. Little fake Josh there in the middle. How many full-time staffers are on the Riso team? Sorry, Sam, I think just Suzanne might be the answer. I see people counting out on their fingers. <laughs> With Kroger Delivery, you don't need a Kroger store nearby to get your fresh groceries. Order on the app and get 20... Eight. Nice work. Nice work. Somebody got forgotten. All you went with seven, six, and seven. <laughs> All right, so this is the halfway point leaderboard. All right, yeah. Got about five people up top, getting all of them right. So, uh, Again, a bit of a gamer myself, so we're gonna ramp it up a little bit here. So now, now points are starting to be awarded based on how quickly you can get the right answer. So not just getting it right, you gotta get the speed in there. How many work groups do we have? This does not include sub work groups, main work groups. a plug for my personal favorite, Native Dictionary, which I talk about almost every other time I'm on the stage.
one of the options. We've actually been there twice. All right. Well done. Well done, Boulder. Certainly wouldn't mind a Boulder, Boulder trip. Final round. Another call out to one of my personal favorites. Who sponsored the Bloody Mary Bar this year? It's a little, well, I'm gonna give it away. This year. company host of the Bloody Mary Bar this year and you get it wrong, you lose 10 points. Down to the wire, here we go. Canopy wins it, yep. All right, who thinks they won? Anybody think they're in the top three? All right. By a good margin, Nathan. Raise your hand, Nathan, where you at out there? Definitely find me, yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I'll get, I'll get you my card and we'll get you some, some CoreLogic goodies here in the mail, so. Uh, that's really it for me today. Just want a little fun informational thing. Not not trying to get too serious today, but I uh, appreciate all you being here. Thank you very much.